A warrior, diplomat, leader, and much more, King Kamehameha, responsible for uniting the Hawaiian Islands into one royal kingdom after years of conflict. And for the past 150 years, we've honored the man many say was destined for greatness. Here's Kamakapili. It was in 1810, which is 212 years ago, when King Kamehameha I unified the Hawaiian archipelago into what became the Hawaiian Kingdom. This year, we're celebrating 150 years of the king's holiday, King Kamehameha Day. And to find out more, we're here with the chair of the King Kamehameha Celebration Commission, Kainoa Danes. Thank you very much for joining us today. Tell us a little Thanks. bit about what's taking place today leading into the holiday yeah. tomorrow. Well, what's taking place is that we're having events after two years, first of all. So we haven't had a proper lay draping since 2019. We haven't had parades since 2019. So we're so glad to be back doing this full on. So very shortly, the Royal Hawaiian Band is showing up. We have all the lay, the lay plumeri are going up on the arms. We have everyone just gathering, being together once again, and it's wonderful. And so again, it's the 150th anniversary of the holiday. I'm so glad we can do this. And then tomorrow, we have a uh, parade. So here in Honolulu, the 105th parade, uh, starting right behind us here at Iolani Palace, snaking its way down to uh, Kapi'olani Park. So be mindful of traffic tomorrow morning. The parade starts at 9, and as it makes its way through, the streets close about an hour, half an hour before. So just be careful. You might get locked in, and it's not my problem. <laughs> um, so we have events also on all the neighbor islands. Uh, so we had Molokai last week. Uh, this weekend, we have Kauai, we have Kona. Hilo has their leg dripping tonight. Kohala's blowing it up in Kohala tomorrow, as they do every year. And then next week is Maui. So we're really representing the Pai'aina that Kamehameha unified, as you said, 212 years ago. How did this holiday come about? When did this start? Perfect. So, this, uh, so back in 1870s, the people of Hawaii wanted to celebrate King Kamehameha the 5th on his birthday, December 11th. Being the humble king that he was, he said, no, 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 let's not honor me. Let's honor my grandfather and the father of our nation. And so he pushed the date as far away from December 11th as he could. So we have the arbitrary date of June 11th now. So for everyone, it's not his birthday. Kamehameha's birthday. We didn't have a calendar back when he was born. But June 11th became that day. So December 22nd, uh, 1871, Lot Kapuaiva declares this holiday. So June 11th, 1872 is the very first one. Here we are 150 years later. 150 years down the road from then, but what about the next 150 yeah, years? Yeah, so I'll probably still be here sweating in the hot sun of Honolulu. The watermark might be a little higher up by then. Um, I, my hope is that it'll still be here, that we're still remembering this man that unified us, that brought us together through war and battle, I get that part, but we, you know, from that came peace. In recorded history, I believe it's the first time in our, our islands we're together as one place. And that's a beautiful thing. And so I hope we continue to remember this legacy, which is why we gather every June 11th to do this and honor him so that our keiki and their keiki continue to do the same. Right on. Thank you very much for all your hard work. Pleasure. You know, appreciate it. Again, a lot of festivities taking working place. Working for Hawaii. Uh, working for Hawaii, literally. They're doing this, not here on Oahu, but across the entire state. Today is just really the kickoff of this weekend celebration. The parade tomorrow here in Honolulu starting at 9 a.m. For all the information, be sure to visit our website, khn2.com. Kamakopini with KHN2 News, working for Hawaii.